Hey guys, how you doing? I'm out in this field here. Um, that house is from like the 20s, and this is like all historical acting right here. And uh, I got like a 60, 60 signal or so, and it's like an old, it's an old casing, and it's weird. The back is like has a bunch of lines and stuff in it, so I'm not really sure what caliber this is, but it is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'll clean it off and see what the caliber is. I'll let you know. Hey guys, so I all I can get out of it is it says USC Co, and then it says 18. And what's weird is the circle in the middle is a circle, obviously, but on the outside, this side is fatter than that side. Like the rim on the outside is fat over here, but not over there. So it's really weird. I think it's it's got to be old. I mean. I mean, it looks real old. I've never seen this kind of <clears throat> design on the back here, so it looks pretty old. So I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know if I uh, find anything else. Okay, guys, I have a really good signal here. It says like 77, 78. So it sounds pretty good. Small object, about two inches down. Just this piece of uh, aluminum or something. Thought it might be like a coin, but nope. Let you guys know if I find anything else. Looks like the brass end to a uh, light bulb. I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. This looks to be an old pair of glasses. I mean, there's like the hinge right there for that side, and there's the hinge right there for that side, so. Yeah, I'm seeing an old pair of glasses, I guess. That's a weird one. Well, let you guys know if I find anything else. Hey guys, um, I'm across the street now. I was over there, and there's a road right here that goes across. Um, there's an old church over there. So I'm doing this field, I've done a couple times already. And uh, I got this old casing. It's a weird shape for that kind of size. This is WRA Co. 2520. And then something. It got cut off. I think like a plow hit or something or a mower. So that's a new one for me. Never seen that kind of uh, bullet casing before. So, all you guys know if I find anything else. Hey guys, um, I'm just here to do my wrap up of today. Um, I didn't really find much. Just found these two casings, these two bullet casings, and these two shotgun shells. Um, this one and this one, but you know, I do like to find old casings, um, especially like ones like this. I mean, look at the back. I don't know if any of you guys really shoot or anything, but I've never really found a bullet casing that has that weird back to it. I mean, there's like three different rings on there. It looks so old. It just says UMC Co. or US Co. It says 18. Um, that's really it. Half of it's pretty much gone, but I mean, it looks like a pretty big round. I mean, it's the size of my finger, and it's pretty much gone. So, I thought it was pretty cool. Never found something like that. And I found this casing. It's a 2520. Um, this side's been clipped on it, it looks like. But uh, I never found a case like this either, and the shape's pretty weird. It's like a... It's like a 30-30, but it's like a tiny 30-30, but it's a 25-20. So those are pretty cool. And I just found these two shotgun shells. One's a revelation from this brand WA, 12 gauge. And this one's a Western Expert. I find most of these, these are the most ones I find is the Western Experts. They're really common. But um, they're both, you know, from the 40s to the 60s or so, so they're kind of old. I also want to show you guys these two pennies that I got in change. This one, um, it's a 73S, but I mean, look at the size, like the side of that. I don't know if that was like a minting error, or was it done in the mint, or was it somebody that did that? I don't really know. I mean, it looks like it's kind of serrated and stuff, so it's not like a clean slice through there. So... 
I don't really know how that was done. I don't know if that's an error or not. What do you guys think? Do you guys comment on that? And also, this is a uh, 68S Memorial. It looks like it's uncirculated or almost uncirculated. I mean, it's so shiny. Everything's there. The back. I mean, look at the steps. All the steps are there. I mean, everything is just phenomenal on this. I notice I've never really found a 68S before. I find a ton of 68s, like just regular 68s. So I looked it up, and I guess there's only like 262,000 minted. And then for the um, Philadelphia mint, there was like a couple million. So this is slightly more rare of the three. But um, and it's pretty good shape too, so I'm thinking maybe it's a little bit more more worth than just a penny. So I'm probably going to save this one. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back on soon. See you guys later. What I also wanted to say is my last video when I showed all the coins I've found. That's not what I've just found. I found also I've I found wheat pennies and stuff too, and tons of memorials. So don't think I just found silver without finding anything else. I mean obviously you have to find a lot of stuff before you find silver coins. So don't think that I just find silver and that's it. I mean I've only found a couple in my life, so just wanna get that clear to you guys. See you guys later.